In our top story, President Jacob Zuma will not have to repay any money for non-security related upgrades to his private home at Nkandla. That's according to Police Minister Natien Tleko. He, unlike the public protector, has found that the swimming pool, crawl, chicken run, amphitheater and visitor center were necessary security upgrades and says the president is therefore not liable to pay for any of them. It's been four long years and many debates over whether or not President Jacob Zuma and his family had indeed unduly benefited, as per the public protector's findings, from the 246 million rand security-related upgrades to his private home. Now, Police Minister Natin Tleko hopes to put the matter to rest. He has found that the swimming or fire pool, crawl, chicken run, amphitheater and visitor center disputed by the public protector are in fact necessary security features. Accordingly, the state president is therefore not liable to pay for any of these security features. He adds that due to all ongoing investigations into Nkandla, other crucial security features had to be delayed. Further security upgrades will now need to be completed as soon as possible. The outstanding security-related work at Ingandla should be funded and completed expeditiously, including the re-evaluation of the current physical security measures. In this instance, the laws and prescripts are to be followed to the letter. The ANC has welcomed the report. For us, uh, the, as you might be aware, the report is in the hands of the Speaker and uh, it uh, now uh, paves the way for the creation of a parliamentary mechanism to consider it. Some opposition parties say they are disappointed. We think this report is a whitewash. We think that it covers, it was written by a minister whose sole objective is to protect the president. We believe that a different person who assessed the use of the fire pool, etc., would come to a different conclusion. Therefore, we will be tabling to see what, what happens with the, with the ad hoc committee. Furthermore, we've written to our lawyers. Our lawyers are considering what action we can take because we believe ultimately the president must account for this issue. So and whilst we appreciate the president does require a degree of protection, the exorbitant expenses that have been incurred are totally unacceptable. And we now hear that there will be further expenses which still need to be calculated. What came out as the report today is an insult to the people of the Republic of South Africa. And at any rate, it was expected to come out as it did because it's a report where the president had commissioned uh, an honorable member who is a member of his executive to actually check on recommendations from him. I mean, which member of the executive can find his boss guilty? It has left us with a whole host, a bouquet of questions than answers that the public expected. It was not for the minister to decide whether the president has to pay or not. That determination had already been made by the constitutionally empowered person, uh, the public protector. The issue was to determine how much was to be paid for those items which were clearly not security related. We have to look at some alternatives. We will have to go through the ad hoc process most probably um, and get that behind us. I have no expectations that that will be any different from what we've seen in this report by the Minister. Meanwhile, Public Works Minister Tulas Nnesi says disciplinary actions against 11 government officials implicated in improper actions on Gandla have been delayed as they await the outcome of a High Court decision. We are ready to proceed with the remaining 11 matters affecting those 11 officials and we await the conclusion of the High Court proceedings. And we want to emphasize here, High Court proceedings, which were brought by the media, who have requested access to the disciplinary proceedings. The report, which has now been tabled in Parliament, will be referred to the Ad Hoc Committee on Nkandla, which is expected to sit soon. Lukanyo Kalada, SABC News. Parliament.
Let's continue with the reaction to Nati and Tleko's uh, report. Let's take a look at Twitter and see what's coming through. Mbuiseni Ndlozi tweeted saying, EFF long warned that when Ntleko comes to speak, he will cook the Nkandla report. Now we are told that a swimming pool is a security feature. Bantu Holomisa tweeting, let's go out and educate our citizens that the ANC celebrates and condones corruption. Tony Leon says in Hleko's performance, a case of see no evil, hear no evil, but not convincing on the third part of that old saying. And Kamva tweeting, should determine how much he should pay. I'm confused. Maroncela and Hleko seem to have been given different mandates. That's some of the reaction coming through on Twitter. Now, if you missed the details of the police minister's report, you can visit our website, www.sabc.co.za slash news, and you can click on the link to watch it.